Welcome my friends. We are going to be doing a girl's bedroom makeover. It is going to be like stepping right back into time. I hope you guys are ready for today's video with a ton of decorating tips, decluttering, organizing, and some cleaning. Let's go. So this was just kind of captured. I wanted to give you a very quick before. The room is like a sagey type green, which I actually don't mind, but this is my opportunity to make the nursery or toddler or little girl's room makeover of my dreams. And so that's what I wanted to do. It had the wood colored blinds and everything was just in real disarray. So here's the quick before. So right off the bat, I am going to paint the walls. It is Sherwin-Williams Intimate White. Initially, I started off with an 18 inch roller. I really, really like this. However, I don't feel like it really covers as much as I wish that it did, especially with such a tight space that I am painting in. There was no room for the pole to go. So I just kind of made do with made the best out of what we had. We pushed everything in the middle of the room. So yeah, it was really tough. I will continue to paint all of the room this beautiful color. The more and more that it got on the walls, I was so thrilled with it. I searched for such a long time to get the perfect shade of pink. I did not want it too bright. I didn't want it too in your face. I just wanted a nice like whisper of pink. And that is what this is. It kind of reminds me of, I think it's called ballet slippers. I don't know who makes it, maybe Bear, but I love it. Maybe Benjamin Moore. I don't know, but it's called ballet slippers, but this is intimate white. And it's kind of interesting that all of the colors in my house have some name of white in it. Like my room is lily white, her room is intimate white. So I guess the, except for the main part of the house that is dripped with mist. So I'm gonna continue doing this. And then once I get all of the walls painted, I am gonna start putting together her closet system. Now we need to declutter this closet. I have used this for storage. We don't have a ton of storage in the house. So any spare space, I'm going to fill it up. And that's what I've done. However, it is so junky in here. And you guys know, even though we got rid of so much stuff from the last house, there is still a ton of stuff that needs to go. So I'm gonna pull everything out of this closet, get rid of the things I don't need, and just try to make space for the closet system that we got. So even though we don't have a ton of storage space, one of the things that I love about this house is its character and it is so unique. Um, like in the room, and I'll show you guys in a moment, it has an ironing board actually built in. It's just kind of cool. I just like it. It was built in the 90s, but the gentleman who built it really just honed in on a certain style of the house, kind of like an old Victorian. So. I love it. I feel like you kind of get the best of both worlds. I mean, yes, we have to renovate the house a quite a bit, but you're not dealing with a hundred year old house, which comes with a whole slew of problems, which truthfully, I wouldn't mind one bit, but it's kind of nice that, you know, it's not too tremendous. I mean, everything that we're doing is just to make the house to our liking or to make it more functional for a family our size. So as I continue to get everything out of here, I am going to also go through it and just get rid of the stuff I no longer want. So my 13 year old son was so sweet and he decided to, well, I asked him, he built the closet system for me because I had so much going on to this day. And so Chris got home and I wanted him to install it and put it into a stud in the wall. So I was just feeling so tired. So I'm really thankful that he did help with those things. I've been trying to do more things on my own just to, just to learn and to get equipped with it. I've mentioned it before that I want to be like a true like woodworking DIY or like that. I want to be able to like literally build a house if I want to. <laughs> I want to like really get into it. So little by little, I'm getting more comfortable with more power tools and getting more equipped with doing like more extensive projects. So obviously this isn't super extensive, but you know what I mean? So you see on the side there, a little bit of the mural. I thought I had filmed um, my sister actually painting it and I guess I did not. 
or maybe it turned off i don't know but the footage is not here anymore which i'm really sad that you guys don't get to see however you will get to see it in its stages initially it wasn't there and now here it is but it is not even close to being done she is doing a beautiful job i wanted peonies on the wall i was looking at wallpaper and then i realized I've got such a talented sister and it would be such a blessing to have her do something for my baby's room. So that is what I did and I cannot wait to show it to you. It is incredible. Her talent is just, it is just exceptional. Wish you the best and say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. So So I was able to get Kristen here and help me out again to put the unit into a stud also to hang the poles and then I tried to just kind of do whatever he needed me to do at this point. So I'm watching and learning a lot of stuff. He has been such a great teacher and so patient with me because he knows my desire to do it on my own but I also know my limits and I'm not quite there yet. So having him right there was such a blessing. It was so huge because I wanted this closet to be done right away. I didn't initially think I wanted to do her closet eventually. I didn't know I was going to do it a part of this makeover, but now is as good a time as any. Like I had mentioned, it was so junky and so filled with stuff. So it was a perfect time to start organizing it all. So one thing I really am thankful for is he and I are such a good team. I feel like we complement each other in so many ways. And so he gets done with this and then I come in and I put it back together. I organize it and make it look good. So a lot of times I will be, well actually the like nine times out of 10. Okay, we'll just say 10 times out of 10. I am the brains and uh, behind the design. He is the, you know, the, the DIYer. I'm the brains and he's the DIYer, um, but I'm learning. So I am gonna put all this together and I'm just really excited for you guys to see it. Let me know if you guys have ever done like a nursery for your babies. I have never had this opportunity. I was living with my mother-in-law in her home when I was pregnant with Isabella. I was living in my own place with Drew, but we didn't have a lot of money, so I used like um, hand-me-down stuff from Isabella's old room, and I just didn't really do what I wanted to do because, again, we just didn't have the money. And then with Liam, we were in a very uh, awful spot, Chris and I. We were actually going through a separation and divorce, and it was really tough. So I did start to try to put his room together, but I just never finished because I just, I just couldn't do it. And then with Josiah and Noah, and um, they kind of just shared a room because we had so many kids at that point. So I'm really excited to get to do this. And this room will be so good for not only a nursery, a toddler room, but even like just a girl's room. I feel like it is so, so sweet and it can grow with her. So this mural is just gonna turn out so beautiful. And I do feel like the, she'll be able to appreciate it as she grows. Okay, so this rug I got from Overstock, and at the end of the video, I will actually go and do a full bedroom tour and go through where I got everything. This particular rug was so, so thin. I love it because it's, you know, very sweet, and I like the design, but I could not believe how uncomfortable it was to play on the floor with Emma in here, so I knew I had to order something. So I got this really affordable memory foam mat, and I am gonna put it under the rug. It's gonna help so much because I do want to bring more of her toys in here because they're kind of scattered all over the house. I wanna bring those in here so we can start really playing in here, but there's no way until we put this, and this was a lifesaver, I'm telling you. It helped so, so much.
So the next thing you are going to see, we are going to start lining everything up for the chair rail. Um, I will tell you kind of the process behind everything, but we've got this little laser pointer and it's going to be great. So I went ahead and filled all of the holes. He put the chair rail up. I filled the holes. I will paint it and caulk it and do all of the things again. We're a really good team. I'm really thankful for that. As you can see now, the whole room was painted the intimate white and then I've got the chair rail. This is just the prime chair rail. I will eventually paint it and kind of like I said, I'm going to tell you the thought process behind things. I feel like when you do that, then when you take on your own projects, it kind of gives you an idea of what I do. So maybe you can do it too. But uh, I just think I don't know. I think it's nice to have the thought process behind it. So I'm going to caulk all along the top. And then what I like to do is have a wet rag with me. I will wet my finger and then I will rub it along the chair rail or whatever you're caulking. And then, oh, and don't forget to uh, like relieve the pressure or it will spill everywhere. Everywhere. And then I will take that wet rag, put my finger in there and then make a very smooth line. I did not want to have to go back and touch up the paint for the pink. So I just made sure to get it in the crevice really good. And then any of the caulk that got spread out where it doesn't need to be, I wipe it right then and there. I will also do the bottom of the chair rail. You don't necessarily have to, but I wanted it to be very seamless. So I did go ahead and do that as well. Okay, so I'm pretty whooped. I was going to film me painting everything, but my camera died. Chris took Emma out for a bit and I had to hustle to get as much done as possible before she came home. So I did not film it, but I am gonna show it to you really quick. So I painted the bottom part. I gotta remember what the name is. I think it was White Dove or White Mountain Snow. No, it was called Snowfall. I'll get the name for you. I'll put it here on the screen. So the pink here is called Intimate White. And then this is, ben so this is Sharon Williams. This is Benjamin Moore. I'll get the name, you'll see it. And then the trim is all Benjamin Moore. I asked, I went to Ace Hardware and he's like, semi-gloss white. I said, that's it. There's no name. He said, nope. Semi-gloss white for cabinets and doors and trims. So I was like, okay. So semi-gloss white from Benjamin Moore. Love, love, love that. So my initial thought, and I'll put a picture here. Um, my initial inspiration was to have it all just the intimate pink, or excuse me, the intimate white, and then have um, trim molding throughout the entire wall. Well, then I just kind of was looking at things online and I saw like peony flowers and I thought, oh, that'd be so beautiful. And I'm like, oh, well, my sister can do it. So she did the mural for me. So when we initially picked out the colors, I saw all the colors, but I thought they were gonna be a little bit more muted um, in my mind. But as it started going up, she's so talented. I loved what she was doing with it and it just was perfect. So, I was thinking it was gonna be more muted, kind of like this, which I got these from Etsy. A little bit more vintage looking. But the way it came out was actually better than I could have even imagined. But, because these are like a coral, and then you've got the intimate white, I felt like it was just too much pink. So here are her, are her curtains, if you remember from the last house. And I did get some velvet curtains. I felt I had gotten gone through two other pairs of curtains that just did not work. So I'm like, you know what? It's a lot of pink in here. I do love pink, but it is a lot. I'm gonna go ahead, save my money, use her old curtains, and then just paint the bottom white, um, and then not worry about having it all pink with the trim molding. So um, I do need to clean her rocker, and then I did get a little bit of paint on it. So I got these, I had these. These are from Target from like five years ago. And then the prints were from Etsy. 
It could cost like a couple of dollars and you get to download them yourself. So I use MPix to download things like that. You can use Walgreens, Walmart, whatever, but I just love MPix. Um, so I just scraped up all of the floor because obviously we got a little bit of paint on there. I just scraped it up. My hands are literally aching. I painted her monogram up there. So at this point, it is just putting the new outlet covers on. This house was built in the 90s, so we still have like phone outlets and like all kinds of things like that. I want to fill that up or I want to put a plate over that. I need to fill in all the gaps under here, hang the curtains and just do like a deep clean in here. I've also got some knobs that are coming. Also, I have to paint this. I just don't know what color I'm gonna paint it. I think like a warm white. I really don't even know. Maybe a cream. I don't know. Oh my gosh. As things start coming together, I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. But it is coming along. I'm going to vacuum all of the little pieces that I picked up and then scrub whatever didn't come off the floor. Her rug. I like this rug a lot, but I feel like it gets dirty really, really easy. So we'll see how this goes. But this is where we're at so far. I wanted to kind of give you a quick overview. I did paint the Miku, the color, to match, and then I painted the bottom part. So, so far so good. We're getting there. Uh, this is the first time I've ever been able to do like a true nursery, go all out type of gig, which I'm really excited about. So, okay, we're gonna continue on. I'm gonna vacuum real quick and then put the room back together because I can't do anything else until the knobs come in. However, I will have me finally doing this dresser as well. Also, I wanted to show you guys, I also painted the closet, the baseboard, and the door. So I want to give you a little, like, like this is what the door looks like. You can see how it's kind of like off-white, almost got like a green tinge to it. And here is the back. So you see here, here, here here there was also a mirror on here um i'm debating on what i'm going to do there i want to put a quote on it i've already written up like some a really beautiful quote that i actually say to you guys all the time and i felt like it was just appropriate to say to her so i will also get that up i gotta pick up the outlet covers it is coming along. This house is coming along. So here are the outlet covers I got. I got it from Lowe's, the Allen and Roth, as you see there. I chose this particular style because I felt like it really complemented the paneling that I'm going for in this room. So I'm going to add these, take everything off. I initially painted over the light switches, but just didn't like that look. So adding this is a very affordable way to just really upgrade your space. You can get them anywhere, Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, Amazon, and there's so many different styles, but this is just a really great way to just really elevate a space in my opinion. Next thing I'm going to do is deep clean this glider. Oh my gosh, it looks horrible. It looks honestly so much worse than I even realized. So I'm going to scrub this down because yeah, it needs it. I also want to add, I did use the Folex carpet cleaner. I sprayed it on there and let it sit for about 10 minutes. And then I'm using just the regular um, spray that I put into the canister to get the rest of the stains up. So I'm going to start pulling the room together now. Now that the recliner or glider is drying a little bit, I'm going to put these frames on the wall. These are digital downloads from Etsy. They have a plethora of designs and decor styles. So if you want to really upgrade your space again, that's really affordable. I think I got five images for maybe $3.97. I will try to figure out, I'll put right here exactly what I paid for it. 
but you print it yourself. And so it comes in so many different sizes. If you want it in a different size that they don't offer, you can easily go to the seller. But when you do the digital download, it supplies multiple sizes that you can choose from. I've got an eight by 10 here, but it can go all the way up to, I think a 16 by 20 or a 24 by 36. But if you want it bigger than that, just ask the seller. So now I'm gonna take this frame that I have had since 2011. Um, when we were a family of six, I put this in my first fixer upper that we ever got. And I'm using my little paint trip paint trick here well I will basically just put a piece of painters tape where the little sawtooth hangers are or wherever it hangs put a mark a little hole and then I will put it on the wall and measure it um, where it needs to be and level it to make sure we are good to go So one thing about cleaning, decluttering, and organizing, even decorating, I feel like it is just like a token of my appreciation for the space that I have. I'm able to just take some time and make it a very inviting space, cleaning the pictures, cleaning your area, decluttering it, organizing it, making it a space that you love is such a sweet way to just show gratitude for where you're at. Like I have mentioned, it, it does not have to be where you want to be in the future, but just be thankful for where you're at today. I'm going to organize her clothes here. I still, I don't know if it's just me, but she doesn't have a ton of clothes. I mean, she has all that she needs, in my opinion. Like we don't have like an abundance. Um, I try to keep it pretty minimal for all of my kids just because then you just end up spending and they don't get to use it all. But her clothes do not fill this dresser quite yet. So it's definitely gonna take some time. I could probably do away with this dresser and then put some little drawers on her closet system, which I am considering doing because it would be nice to put a cube system here so I could put her toys and she could have a space for her toys in her room. So I'm on the fence, especially with how hard this dresser was and it doesn't, it's not, I mean, nothing's supposed to be perfect, but it's just not exactly how I want it. So. I, I don't know. I, this will be kind of like to be continued. I might just end up putting dresser or drawers in her closet. I'm not sure yet. Here we go. Here it is, the final, final reveal. I have been waiting to show this to you guys for as soon as we moved in. Right off the bat, I wanted to share that we did this in Sherwin-Williams Intimate White. And I was looking for just a hue of pink. I didn't wanna go overboard with it. And I love it so, so much. So initially, my plan was to do the chair rail and then paneling all the rail, but as I was going through and looking at things, well first, I got these from Etsy and I love them. I think it was probably $3 for a group of five and then I had them printed. And I had these frames from Target many years ago and it fits an eight by 10. So I was gonna do the paneling and as I was looking for um, peonies and things like that, I remembered, hey, my sister does murals. And she's so talented, so I asked her to come and do this for Emma. I gave her the inspiration picture of that one, and she came up with this with some coordinating colors, which is just stunning. So my sister did this. So once she did this, we put the chair rail up, and I felt like it was really, really just pink. So I decided to go in and paint this part white i will put the color here it's just a shade of white and then the baseboards are semi-gloss benjamin moore trim paint 
which is phenomenal. They didn't give me a number or anything, but you can see the, the slight difference in the two. So I wanted this to be warm. I wanted this room to be very, very warm. So that's why I chose that. As you guys saw, I changed all the outlets. It just kind of upgrades this area. The rug is from Wayfair and I did put a memory fat um, pad. This is so incredibly thin. It was painful to sit on it. So I put a memory foam pad underneath. Um, so the crib we have, she has multiple blankets, like her blankets that she loves. So her blankie, she loves them so, so much. And then just um, some pink sheets. Then, <clears throat> sorry, they're playing tickle crabs in the living room. So this is an ironing board. And this gentleman that lived here, this is where he got dressed. So I was thinking about taking it off, but it is such an undertaking to take it out. It's pretty deep. So we decided to leave it. And later on, when we decide to take the ironing board out, we will actually make it into like a dollhouse, maybe open it up, put some wallpaper in here, do, you know, her bows and ribbons, maybe a mirror in here. I don't know, but we figured if it's here, let's get creative. So my sister just went ahead and continued the mural all the way over. So I also painted all of the doors in the trim with that same Benjamin Moore paint because they were all off-white and just the regular old dingy primer look. So these got a fresh coat of paint and they look amazing. So she continued the mural on over on this wall as well. And this is her monogram I had made for her when I was pregnant. And I love it. I actually just went over with some of the high gloss paint just to give it a little bit of a sheen. And so then coming this way again, just upgraded the switches, which we have the paneling here. So I wanted it to have like a panel look. And over here, I am going to do a um, inspirational thing here. Um, so continue to paint it. And over this way, I've had this mirror since 2011 when we were a family of six and it has followed me house to house and I love it. There's something about it that I just feel like is absolutely stunning and it's got that old world vintage look and I love it. I got these knobs, which I'm gonna need to get sh shorter screws, but I got these knobs from Lowe's. I think they're so pretty and so dainty and perfect for just a little girl's room. So I also put the knobs here as well and then her hatch, she picked this up at Hobby Lobby and loved it so much, but she kept carrying it around and it broke. She loves this little lady so much and I felt like it matched her rug. So this here was actually given to us. It's a true antique from Chris's, uh, Chris's aunt and I think it's gorgeous. I love this sage. I really love it because when Isabella was a baby, my mom got her this really pretty um, duvet and it had all of these beautiful touches of sage and pink. So it just brought back some really good memories and the dainty, beautiful little jewels here. I think it's just, I love it. It all has a very vintage feel, which is what I wanted. I wanted this to be very vintage. So her, um, and it's just still drying, but it looks a lot better than it did. This is just her rocker or glider that we've had since the beginning. The curtains, there was a huge ordeal with the curtains. I could never find the ones that I like. These are discontinued from Target many years ago. So I ordered some other kind, they were too shiny. And then I ordered another pair, they were too yellow looking. So I decided, this is another reason why I decided to paint this um, the white, was because I love these curtains and since they don't make them anymore and I just didn't want to search the world and we already had them, I, fig I figured, why not just keep them? I did get a new rod because the other one broke. Just keep them. And then if I paint the bottom white, it works out beautifully. So this is it. Now in her closet, we did do a little closet system, as you saw. I've got all of her stuff in here. And this is where all her stuff is at. I've got some extra clothes and diapers, her more toys, 
and then her dress is over here and over here is a storage slot this is my wedding dress and then that type of stuff one of my favorite things in this room is her um her chandelier so here it is it's really hard to see i have the um it, it does have a remote it has all these really cool features so my hand was actually on the microphone um on my camera so it was super muffled so i wanted to do a voice over here but it's got a ton of features as you can see it has six fan settings and it pushes quite a lot of air now the blades are like a clear acrylic and then it's got such beautiful dainty little flowers all around it and then even the centerpiece lights up like it's a part of a flower then it also does different temperatures um, of the light I think that's the word I think that's the right way to say it temperatures so you can get very daylight warm light bright dim it dims all different variations then you can have the bright light so actually it's soft light then you can have daylight and in a minute you'll see it the daylight is very bright it's almost like a bluish looking uh, light you know what I mean with light bulbs you can either have daylight soft white soft light oh lord you know what i'm saying these this looks like a daylight light bulb there we go or the soft white i think that's how you say it but i like that you can change it and you can get it as bright as you want it or as dim as you want it and then when you turn it off completely it has a little night light which i was so confused about because i kept seeing like this like glowing halo on her ceiling and i had no idea what was going on but yeah there's a night light on it and it also hooks up to your phone which is a really cool feature as well i got this from wayfair and it's probably one of my favorite things in this room a little jewels little jeweled flowers and see how the middle has that little section right there which is really cool but let me show you what it looks like off oh. so let me turn the curtains off that is the nightlight and it's kind of it's not completely dark here but at nighttime it glows and it has like just a little halo of light and then the center will also let me see if i can get closer little lights and back so it just has like these little twinkle lights in there it is so sweet. We were so confused because when we turn off the light, we read a book to her right over here and we'll turn the light off when it's time to rock her before bed. And we noticed that like there was a halo, like a glow up there. And then we realized it's a nightlight. This also hooks up to your phone, which is really cool. And I think, I'm pretty sure I got it from Overstock. I'll have all the links. So this is her room. I am utterly in love with it it is the official done project in the house and this is the first time i've ever had like a true nursery for one of my kids and this makes my heart happier than i can't even explain so I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and putting this room together for Emma. I hope that it inspired you, motivated you, and gave you a little insight on the process behind the design and why I did what I did and how I got to point A to point B to this final version of her room, which will be able to grow with her, which was one of the main goals. I am so thankful for you. You know, I say it all the time and I will never stop saying it. Time is so precious. And the fact that you spent it with me means the world to me. I hope you know how loved you are and I hope you know how worthy you are. So I hope today is beautiful. Would you please consider hitting that subscribe button? Make sure you like this video and don't ever forget you are love and this world is a better place because of you. I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys.